A widely recognized Australian landmark, Uluru or Ayers Rock, reaches 348 meters above ground level, is 3.33 kilometers square, and is over 9 kilometers in perimeter. A UNESCO World Heritage Site with significant cultural importance, Uluru is truly a natural wonder. But its unique shape begs the question, how was Uluru formed? Uluru is sometimes referred to as a monolith, but this is vague and if I called it that some geologists would be writing strongly worded emails to me. Uluru is actually an inselberg. Also called a monadnock, an inselberg is an abrupt mound or hill in an otherwise flat or gradual landscape, such as a plain. As for the composition of the rock, Uluru is made of a type of sandstone known as arcos. I could go into further detail, but honestly, looking at this section on Wikipedia makes my eyes go funny, so feel free to take a look at it yourself. As for the formation of Uluru, it's easier to look at how inselbergs are formed in general. Inselbergs are generally found in eroded or weathered shields. No, not like a battle shield, you know, a geographic shield? A usually flat area made from really, really old rocks from the continental crust? No? Well, seeing as your knowledge of obscure geologic and geographic terms is lacking, maybe you should subscribe to learn some more. Anyway, let's look at a map of Australia's shields, which are the orange parts. Now let's overlay a map where Uluru is in Australia. Wow, is it just me, or is Uluru right in that shield? Great job everyone! This is conclusive evidence that Uluru is probably an inselberg. But how are inselbergs actually formed? As for that, no one is sure, however, there are two main theories. The first was proposed by Professor Lester King in 1948. The theory is that inselbergs are formed by a geologic process known as pediplanation, which creates a pediplane, a large plane formed by the joining of two gradual slopes. The general idea is that two slopes push together over time to create a smaller, more defined landmark, which we know to be the Inselberg. The second theory is called the two-stage model. In this theorizes Inselbergs are formed in two stages, firstly chemical weathering, where rain will react with minerals on the ground causing them to weaken, and secondly, erosion over time due to the wind and water, etc. However, this model works for Inselbergs known as Tor, or copy, which look like a group of large rocks. In this case, Uluru was formed by something similar to the two-stage model. In reality, over 500 million years ago, a large mountain range was there. This range was the size of the Himalayas. However, without plants to protect the rock from eroding, it quickly disappeared, leaving the stronger sandstone of Uluru behind. There used to be an inland sea known as the Abadeus Basin in central Australia. This caused layers of sand and mud to condense the sandstone Uluru was comprised of, making it stronger and appear smooth. As the basin evaporated and the sand and soft rock eroded, Uluru appeared. Uluru is an inselberg caused by simple erosion. While erosion is generally considered a bad thing, especially near coasts, the geologic process can still make some pretty nice things, the nicest of which is Uluru. Thank you.